Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my uh, first October paycheck breakdown for you. Um, before we get started, guys, I just wanted to come on and say that um, I'm a little sad that I have not been able to figure out more content because I would love to be posting more on YouTube, but um, the items that I have ordered from AliExpress for my iPad, they have not all come in yet. I was hoping to get that video done and put up a long time ago, but even then, I do only get paid bi-weekly, guys, so that's only one, you know, that's only, two, well, really two videos a month, and I really want to be posting more than that, so I'm not sure what other type of content I want to do. Well, actually, I know I would love to be doing ASMR as well because budgeting, ASMR, really close to my heart, but I don't know. Um, I guess I can give it a try. I just wasn't sure if I should um, combine the two. Or I guess maybe not combine the two. Like I probably wouldn't do ASMR within the budgeting content, although, I don't know, like, maybe some people are into that. I would be fine with that, but, um, obviously I want my content to reach as many people as possible. Um, I just want to share my journey, you know, with whoever I'm able to, and I just feel like, although ASMR is widely popular now, there's still a lot of people who are skeptical. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, I need to come up with more ideas anyhow. So that's just what I wanted to say. I am not like tired of posting because I really look forward to doing this when I get the chance to do it. But I just have not been sure what I'm, um, I guess what I wanted to post. Uh, so maybe I will try and do ASMR again. But again, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see on that one. Um, so getting into this now, guys. Today is October 14th. It is very late in the evening. It is almost 11 o'clock. I'm hoping I can get this video filmed <clears throat> and edited and I can have it posted before midnight. That is the goal. Um... <clears throat> I do have a midterm tomorrow morning, so I have been just, I feel like I'm behind on everything. I plan to film this earlier, but you know, studying and all of that. Um, but anyhow, sorry, <laughs> getting into this now. So once again, uh, in regards to bills, guys, everything comes out of the account cushion. If anyone is new here and you had any questions, so you're not going to see any bills listed, but for example, I just went, um, and I, um, had to buy a few things that I had not actually planned for, for anything. So I actually pulled that out of the account cushion. And I also took my family out to dinner one, um, evening here last week. So that was another thing that I had to use the account cushion for. And again, no problems doing that. I just wanted to have, um, you know, a higher amount in my account cushion. So I'm able to do things like that without stressing, wondering where the money is going to come from, just because my budget is very strict. So everything comes out of the account cushion, just so you guys are aware. I have said it every single time, probably since I began filming. So, uh, this paycheck, I was paid $996.78. And I remember saying in my last cash stuffing video that I would not be taking extra shifts just because midterms were around the corner. Well, I did not listen to myself, so this is probably why I'm in the situation where I'm up this late when I should be sleeping. And, uh... <laughs> Probably should have had more studying done, but hey, you know, that's okay because the money can definitely be used 
and you know I I tend to do fairly well I have not had a bad semester in quite some time but hey I'm not I'm not saying that can't happen I really should be more on top of that so I'm hoping I can come up with a better schedule for myself where if I do plan on to take extra shifts that it's not too much just because you know a normal paycheck for me is around 700 and something dollars and this is without the thanksgiving holiday that will be the next paycheck so i actually ended up working two extra days so that's a full i had a full 40 hour week the one week so anyhow um so 996 dollars and 78 cents so nothing towards bills i did put 700 dollars um I will be putting $700 aside for investments because, again, my two mains would be investments and whatever savings goal that is most important to me at the given time that I'm doing whatever breakdown. So for me right now, that would be my investments and I'm focusing now on the house fund. Now that my wedding and honeymoon, moving expenses, my emergency fund, those are all funded um, I have explained that in my last two videos, so I have now moved on to new things, which I'm super, super excited about. So, yes. So, out of that, 996.78, I will be stuffing uh, 950. So, we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56... 57, uh, 50, 8, 50, 9, 50. Okay, I accidentally pulled an extra one in there and I did not realize that until it actually, does anyone know what I mean? It felt wrong. It felt like I, it felt like another one slipped by. So $950 guys. Um, and like I said, $700 of that is going towards my investments. I will be keeping an eye on my investments, like I said, because uh, the month of September actually was not great. Um, so we'll see how the month rolls. I mean, we're already like halfway through now, which is crazy. Like it was just October 1st. So, wow, those two weeks literally flew by. But um, so far, actually, the last two weeks have not been great. I believe, where was I at here? Uh, oh goodness, I'm not doing well at all, guys. So just a, a, a little recap here. So I ended uh, September off with $14,285.20 um, in my overall investment account. And... Uh, I believe I was only at $14,420 and some cents today. So over the last two weeks, you know, that is not great at all. I know, again, um, just go with the flow. Investments, they go up and down. You're in it for the long haul. But it kind of sucks to see it not, you know, performing very well. I, I didn't actually experience this very much except for again like with the beginning of the pandemic um i initially had invested three thousand dollars and it went down to like oh man i think it was almost a thousand so i had lost within the market abyss two thousand dollars but then you know it has grown exponentially over the last uh less than two years of um aggressive investing. So like I said, I only started aggressively investing uh, October last year. Not exactly sure what date it was again. I think I might have mentioned that again in a prior video, but uh, it, that doesn't really matter. That's besides the point. Um, it has grown a whole lot in that one year from, um, I think it was only like four or five thousand dollars all the way up to 14. So I mean, it really is doing well over the last year. But it just sucks to see it month to month. Um, maybe I should start maybe checking it um, every three months or something like that. Anyhow, so I am going to keep an eye on that and I will fill you guys in.
again, it just sucks a little bit to see that. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, so 700 dollars will be going to the bank, you guys. Um, and then I am left here with 51, 52, 50. So that is what we are going to be stuffing my uh, envelopes with. So once again, guys, I am only doing, again, the most important um, binders. So actually, before I do that, my calculator has to get some use, you guys. This may seem incredibly redundant, but I paid for this calculator. I have to use it. So 996.78, subtract the 700 for investing, 296.78 left over. I will be stuffing 250 into my envelopes. That leaves me with $46.78. So as you can see down here, that is the leftover amount. And like I said, anything extra goes into, into the account cushion. Um, so like I stated here last video, guys, I had a dentist cleaning on... Ooh, last week, it was last week, I paid $143 and I budgeted $150 for it. So that extra $7 um, just went back into the account cushion because like I said, what does not get used will end up back just because I do have reoccurring bills that come out of there and um, it just makes sense. So if I ended up using like my credit card for certain purchases like I did for like the hotel stay for my boyfriend's getaway um, for the other, for our dinner date and, and things like that, all of those things, I do normally pay it with my credit card. I do have the money in the envelopes. And like I said, if I ended up pulling out extra and if I had used the just in case money, I would have pulled out of the account cushion if needed. But since that was not needed, it's just nice to have that money in there just in case, um, just as a buffer. So realistically, I would like to have probably like 800 to a thousand in there, but that's just not feasible for me right now. Um, I have too many options for money to go into and to have a higher account cushion is just not that right now. So anyhow, so the 250 left you guys, um, just move this out of the way. Got dusty scent everything else in here it seems okay so we're gonna do the giving envelope first you guys again I did not pre-plan this I just went to the bank and honestly grabbed 50s because that is the easiest for me uh, since I do no normally just go through the um, drive-through when I am picking up cash um, on my way home from work you can take out 20s and you can take out 50s I don't know normally I just take out 50s because it just seems like it's easier at the time but then again 50 bucks, it either goes to one person or I will break it down for change. I will do one or the other. So $50 went into the giving envelope. So that means I have uh, 200 remaining. And um, munchies is still in here, you guys. Uh, when I uh, stuffed it last, the last time, I, I have not needed to put anything in there. So gas, I do need money because I just filled up a few days back and actually my gas is dwindling. I should put a hundred in, but I just don't have uh, that amount because I really would like to put money away for Christmas because Christmas is around the corner, you guys. I It's just the year is gone. It's unbelievable. Um, my envelope is getting nothing. Honestly, you guys, I'm going to say this. Uh, I was telling you, my best friend who gifted me that iPad, um, I think that was one of my very first videos, maybe my third video or something like that, she gifted me a brand new iPad. Um, she's done a lot for me over the years. Uh, we have been best friends for a long time. Um, anyway, she just gives me stuff. And I, you know what, like... She's not on any type of budget journey. They, her and her husband are pretty well off. Whereas, you know, like, I'm not saying that I am like 
hurting for money or anything like that. I'm just really careful what I spend it on because I do have my goals. Like I would not be spending, you know, $8,000 a month on my credit card because, well, one, I don't make anywhere near that. And two, I would like to be saving for the goals first and foremost. So I don't tend to spend a whole lot on myself unless it's budgeted or like, again, I will budget for my boyfriend, these types of things, but she will just go out randomly when she sees fit, I guess, and she will gift me the stuff. She ended up buying me some actually new clothing items. I was telling her about the capsule wardrobe that um, I would like to eventually do. So I actually had only put the $50 into my clothing envelope. And she, I mean, she, she's funny. She kind of laughed. She said, um, you know, like $50, like that's not going to get you very much. And I'm like, oh, like I know I'll be saving for a little while or like once I reach another goal or like get my tax return or something like that, I can put some money in. Again, she laughed and she was just like, girl, like get yourself some stuff. Like I will buy you some stuff. And I said, oh, like I'm not hurting for anything. Like I have clothing. I just want to get rid of stuff and I would like to only wear things that I truly love. So she told me to go online and she said, go on to one of your favorite stores, uh, websites. And if there's anything that you like, to let her know. I didn't for like the longest time and she, you know, she hounded me and hounded me. And finally I said, okay, well, I'll actually take a look. So I took a look and um, I do love Victoria's Secret. I love pink. Uh, both of those stores, uh, I love them very much. They have very comfortable clothing um, and they're super cute and trendy. Um, but again, not super cost effective. Things are you know, like 50, 60, $75 for one item. So I picked out a few things and I didn't show her again. And she was just like, just show me, just let me see. I'll tell you if it's, you know, I guess good. If it's a good investment, I'm not, I'm not sure. Like she's crazy guys. I love her to death, but she's crazy. So I showed her and she said, okay, uh, these all look like great items. They, they look like things you'd wear and there are things that you can wear like any for any season so she ended up buying me just a you know some new clothing items and she actually uh, has plans to buy me a jacket oh no i'm sorry guys one second my computer decided to turn on here and it started playing something quietly so i hope that did not bother you. Um, so anyhow, so yes, she got me a few things. I'm excited to wear them, of course. I just don't think it was necessary. But anyhow, so I think I'm just going to like... <sighs> wait. I am going to wait for the clothing because that was my plan from the start. Like, I'm not going to have her say like, hey, if you don't keep... If you don't put money more money into your clothing, like I'm going to get you something else. Like, I just hope that's not what she's going to do. It's very sweet of her to do that. Like other people, other people think like, what, like what type of relationship is that? We have a very odd relationship. We love each other very much. We are hard on each other, sensitive with one another, uh, over certain topics, but she is very into fashion. And she does not like some of my clothing choices. But I mean, like, I like, I like things that, you know, will stay in style, like stripes and things like that. Like, I find that things like this won't go out of style. But she likes the neutrals and some, some bright colors, like, thrown in there, but, like, solids and, and things like that. So she's like, no, 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 no. You need to get some new things. So, sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm rambling. So, as per usual. But I just wanted to let you guys know probably won't be saving for myself for a little bit just because like I said she's very sweet on me um but I, most importantly I have goals that I feel like I need to reach first and she's got to be okay with that you guys <laughs> I've tried to tell her she doesn't want to listen so um thank you again my darling for spoiling me uh, my boyfriend likes to joke and say like that she's like part of the relationship too because she just loves to spoil me, which is true. I mean, she has always, she's always wanted to spoil me. We have been very close for a long time, but uh, she just has that expensive taste, y'all. So anyway, so nothing in my envelope. 
nothing in Edward's envelope. He um, had his wonderful birthday celebration, like I said, at the, the last couple days of September there. And for now, we are just going to focus on uh, date nights. And I should also note, I'm sorry, I keep doing these little sidebars here, but I just don't want you guys to know, I want you guys to know that I don't pay for everything, okay? Um, I save for these things over the course of, you know, how much ever, however long it takes to save for whatever I'm saving for. Edward also buys date night. He will treat me with a heated blanket. He just bought me socks recently. Like, I swear, guys, it might seem like I'm just trying to save like little bits here and there and I always pay for date night. That is not, not true. So I hope that I haven't made that out to be that way. Uh, he definitely pitches in a lot, but I, again, his budget is pretty lax compared to mine. It's just, he'll spend whatever he spends and everything else is put in for savings other than like his specific, uh, pension goals, which I mean, that comes out with his job. And like I said, mine doesn't. So that's why I do $700 one paycheck and $700 from my second paycheck of the month will go to my next most important saving goal. So, uh, Lulu, she got her Thanksgiving goods. Thanksgiving was great. You guys, I had two Thanksgivings, um, one with my family and one with Edward's family. We were going to do a big Thanksgiving dinner together, but it just did not work out this year. So perhaps next year, maybe not, who knows? So Lulu actually got some wet food. I got her some treats. Um, what else? I went with, uh, I went with Edward the one day. Um, we went grocery shopping for Thanksgiving and I decided to stop by. What else did we get her? Uh, some cat toys. I should, I need to learn how to insert photos so that I can like add this stuff in there and show you guys instead of just telling you. But yeah, she was super stoked. She was like sniffing up her, her little gift bag and uh, she was poking her head in. It was super cute. Uh, she loved that. And the dinner, both dinners I had were fantastic. Um, but the cooking and cleanup of it just, oof. That was pretty rough this year, considering I worked the entire weekend for long shifts. They were long shifts at work and had to cook every single day after. And there was a lot of dishes. So again, self-care. This $50 will be used very soon here for another skincare order for The Ordinary. I did not purchase every product that I had planned just because I wanted to test out a few. Uh, that is what they recommend. So I have a few more and the $50 should cover that. Date night, we'll be getting 50 bucks, you guys. Um, so once again, with restrictions and stuff like that, Edward and I just thought it is best to stay, stay in and do date night. So mainly this date night will be takeout. Or we could potentially buy, um, you know, like probably cheaper end new games t uh, to play on the computer, something like that. So, but re most recently it's just been food, which food is great. So can't complain there. And then the tried and true $50 has not left this envelope, has not left this binder since I started it. This guy, <laughs> this guy here, he's, he's waiting to be spent, but I just have no plans. He is the absolute leftover. So that's done. That was a really long explanation for one binder that had three, three deposits made into it. Last one, guys. So like I said, this was condensed down and this was uh, shifted. So all of the unused uh, envelopes are now in the back. So I only have a few. So health, like I said, that $150 was used. I had my dentist cleaning, no cavities, so that's great. Um, and the leftover amount went to the cushion. Holidays, uh, I decided this one's going to be a little bit like slow gains because I want to make sure that Christmas is dealt with first. But we did, um, we did end up getting wine and beer 
Edward and I both went out together. We got um, wines for myself, uh, future mama-in-law, um, a future sister-in-law, and a future brother-in-law. And of course, Edward and Ed and all these, all these people uh, within my future family. And we did, so we did wines. We did a few different wines, uh, sweet wines, because I can't drink the dry shit. That is terrible. And I'm sorry if you love it, but I don't. Um, and we did beers because the guys like beer, don't like beer at all. And we also did rum and eggnog. Terrible stuff. I would rather have rum plain, if I'm being honest, but everyone on my boyfriend's family loves rum and eggnog who are um, able to drink. <laughs> everyone who's legal drinking age. So that was gone within the entire, uh, within like the whole time of me being there. I went there Sunday night to Monday night. So within 24 hours, guys, that rum was gone and so was the eggnog. Uh, so needless to say, the entire 50 that I had saved for that. Actually, wait, did I pull out 100? Did I end up switching it? I might have actually used 100. I can't remember now. But Edward also uh, pitched and we split half and we bought it. And yeah, we got some also desserts and things like that as well. So gifts, like I said, guys, the first gift that I have coming up here for the end of the year and for the new year would be April because... Um, there is a birthday that we celebrate in October, but we have made it clear for one of, oh, we have made it clear for one another that uh, we we don't do gifts. It's just it's just better that way, which I mean, hey, I will respect his decision. That is okay. So the first one's April, and then clothing. Like I said, guys, only fifty bucks. Uh, and electronics. There is one hundred and fifty in here. And again, saving for the future parts for uh, our computers, new games, although, again, could be pulled out of date night too because there's not a whole lot we can do right now since we are limited to what we are able to do with the pandemic and whatnot, which is, again, okay, it's fine, uh, better safe than sorry. So that could come out of here or electronics. And good old Christmas, you guys. That is the last one that I will be stuffing today. There is 200 in here already, I believe. 51, 52. So, yep, the last 100, guys. So, 250 and 300. So, $300 now is in for Christmas. I need to, I need to beef this up. So, I actually plan to take out my work's vacation pay. Uh, the last, no, sorry, the first week, first paycheck of December. So that should be a pretty decent amount. I'm hoping it'll be around $500. Not that that full $500 will be added to the uh, Christmas fund. I will need quite a bit, but I, I need to decide here. Like we are, sometimes we get smaller gifts for everybody. Sometimes we just do Secret Santa. So that actually has not been established yet. But within my own family, boyfriend and his family aside, we do set amounts for each other and we have done that for... Oh God, 10 years since I was, yeah, around since the time I graduated from high school, which is, oh man, that is crazy. Uh, sorry, thinking about that again. Um, so anyhow, uh, we do $100. So it's literally like we're handing $100 to that person and they're handing $100 to you. So it, it really cancels it out. But I mean, it's the thought that counts. It's really weird when you think about it. Like, hey, I'm gifting you with $100. And they're like, hey, I'm gifting you with $100. It's just, it is what it is. That's, I guess our family's weird. That's just what we do. Um, and with Edward, we don't normally set a budget budget. Like, we're, it's not dollar for dollar or anything like that. But it's like general terms. Don't be spending $500 on me. And I won't be spending $500 on you because I am not into $500 worth of gifts, you guys. I don't need that. I would rather save that and go for a freaking vacation and have like a good meal, honestly. I don't need, I don't need anything. I, I would love a good meal, good wheel, a good wheel, a good meal, some wine, um, and relax just to relax and enjoy an evening, you know, 
So that will be determined closer to Christmas, you guys. So that was the total amount, you guys. Out of the 96678, 4678 stayed in my account cushion to pay for bills and to keep that up there because I rely on the account cushion more than anything, actually. That's where everything comes out of. That's where everything goes in. So that is the catch-all account. So yeah, that is it. That is all I have. Um, I might try posting an ASMR video. I might be too shy to do it. I, I don't know, you guys. I, I feel like I have become better with uh, speaking and not being as shy, especially in front of the camera. Um, I seem to make a fool out of myself, though, and ramble a lot and trip over my words. But hey, I'm human. Um, again, this is just something that I'm really passionate about, and I'd love to share my life with you guys. You might not want to hear it, so... Uh, this video is probably insanely long, so that is the end. I hope you guys have a fantastic um, rest of the week. Yep, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, have a great weekend, and I will hopefully be back with a new video very soon, okay? Um, yep, that is it. Okay, see you guys.